This is Pokemon White Single Battle Infrared. Let me just get the video now. As you can see, here's the team. I didn't have to use many, didn't lose many, so here's the battle. Alright, first of all, I sent out Luxury, which I would say is probably my favourite Pokemon, so leave below a comment what's your favourite Pokemon, because I'd just like to know. I, I then use, um, Rain Dance, because then it gives my Thunder 100% Accuracy Rate. This also holds an Air Balloon, because as it's used Earthquake, which is obviously its weakness, the Air Balloon stops it, which is great. He then swaps out for his King Tank. Um, which was a smart move because I used Thunder, but as it's a steal as well, it's actually normal damage, which I was quite surprised by that as well. He then uses his Berry, which gets up quite a lot. I was like, whoa, that's like back up to half health. So he then uses Zap Can and keeping a 50-50% chance of hitting me. He luckily hits me, not as effective. Critical hit, which is lucky for him, and he, I get paralysed as well. And my Air Balloon Pulse, which I was like, damn, that's, that's a lot of pain going through there. But anyway, as I'm paralysed, my Luxray ability, because it's a Dream World ability, is Guts. So my attack is now um, times by 1.5%, which is great. He then sends out Executor, and I then use Strength because of that boost, and my attack is quite strong. Didn't do as much as I hoped it would. He then used Leech Seed with misses, and then I'm paralyzed. So that was like a new move in there. He then goes for the Leech Seed, as you can see. I was seeded. I used Return. Quite a powerful move. So he like nearly takes him out, but then his Leech Seed just gives him a bit more health. He decides to withdraw Executor and put a Zorak. I'm surprised it didn't go into Illusion straight away. No idea why it hasn't. But later in the battle it does. This also gave me a free move to use Rain Dance again without taking any hit, apart from Leech Seed. Use this Faint Attack. I was quite surprised the damage on that. And I'm quite surprised Luxray survived. So I hit him with a Thunder. Don't think I quite take him out. No, and then Leech Seed got to me. I was like, no, not my Luxray. Then I put in my Celagor, but I like to call this guy Ninja because he's so fast. It's like Ninja reflexes here. But yeah, I use Giga Drain. And as this is a rock, but it's a flying, it's not super effective, so I was like, damn. Still did a little bit of a junk. And then use Bug Bus. Bug Buzz. Ugh. Not Bus. How's that Bus? But anyway. Um, it doesn't do as much as I hoped, so it wasn't very effective. And then he hits me with an Ancient Power, super effective, nearly half. So I used Giga Drain again, to get my health back up. He uses another Ancient Power, probably hoping to get the status boost. But there's only one problem with that Pokemon, so that his ability sucks. So that when it gets down to below half health, like he lowers its own speed attack and attack to so down to half. Pretty stupid, but it wasn't my choice of Pokemon. I then gets, I then get like a useless critical hit really, because I would have killed it either way. Ends out sends out Superior, but luckily my Bug Burst is super effective. But I, I then use Recover to play on the safe side, because no idea what that superior has. And then use this Ring Out. It's more powerful the more HP you have. So then he makes a false move here, and he uses another Ring Out, thinking it'll do the same damage, but it doesn't, because I've got less HP. So it's okay at the start, but as you can see, it survived. And then I finished him off. What a shame. He then sends out his, um... 
swords back again. Why is it swords? It's got like no sauce or sauce or sauce or nothing like that. But anyway, I send out my Gardevoir or Gardevoir, whatever you want to say. And then uses Earthquake, which surprisingly he's like levitating, as you can clearly see. No idea how that hit me, but anyway. I then use Hypnosis, taking a 50 50 chance. I hit it, I was like, yes. He then does a smart move and withdrawn it as I use Dream Eater, so I get no effect whatsoever. It's, a, it's an executor, and I, I actually slipped with the energy ball then. I was like, oh damn it, I shouldn't have done that, I might not kill it. Turns out it's the Zorak again, which I hate them, which is so annoying. Lucky for me then. He then sent out the real executor. So obviously I'm not going to use energy ball again or slip. I use shadow ball instead. I didn't know it was super effective, but you know. And then resends out source back. Completely hopeless at this moment. I use Dream Eater. Luckily I one hit KO it. That's probably because I've EV trained it in special attack. Pretty strong. He didn't even stand chance, honestly. Anyway, subscribe, happy watching, and don't forget to leave a comment below about what's your favourite Pokemon.